How do you interview an introvert? You're an introvert. I assure him. <laughs> you always call me the league leader. Yeah. But maybe we should be clear on our terms before we go any further. I mean, what's your definition of an introvert? I think the best the best working definition that moves these conversations forward is the Myers-Briggs definition. So I, I, I really believe it's just a matter of where do you get your energy from? And I was I was having a conversation this weekend with a with a friend of ours who is an extrovert and we were comparing some things and it really is amazing how some people get their energy. Well, from my perspective, it's amazing that some people get their energy from talking to other people and engaging. They need that to sort of get warmed up so that they can perform at their best. Whereas for me personally, those interactions cost me energy. And so I can do it and I can do it for a while, but at some point I need to recharge. And that is alone time. And so in terms of, and I'm sure it's way more complicated than that, but as a, as a simple working definition, I really like the Myers-Briggs definition. It just depends on where you get your energy. And people know where they get their energy. They're, they're aware enough. And some people, it's not a big deal either way. Some people have strong views one way or the other. And that's how you can tell whether someone's an introvert or not. So I would say that if you're interviewing an introvert, create the environment where they are going to be energized and engaged. And so give them time to prepare so that they can think about it. Um, a lot of introverts like to really work things through their head before they're talking. So allowing them the time to do that. Mm. Um, and your interview prep does a great job with that. Make sure it's a topic that they care about because everybody is energized by topics that they care about more than being forced to talk about some arbitrary subject. Yeah. And do it in a, and do it in a one to one setting so that the introvert does not uh, waste any energy or spend any energy in interacting with other people and spending energy in trying to assess and navigate the social dynamic of the room. So time to prepare the right topic, a one on one setting. You'll probably get an hour and a half, you know, nonstop. And when you say one-to-one, -one, does something like this work where there's only the two of us, but we're two and a half thousand miles apart? This absolutely does work, yes. I, I think that it's it's more important that it's one-to-one -one and that the conversation, I'm fully participating in it, and it doesn't stray in other directions where it can in more of a group discussion. So it, it might be that some people prefer or don't prefer to be seated in the same room. But from my perspective, it's it's the same thing. The important thing is that it's it's a one to one conversation. Hmm. So is it not true then to say that introverts are people who don't like to talk and don't like conversations? I, it's not been my experience at all. I think that if you if you could imagine a big social party and the main room has 20 some people talking into it. And then you sort of go into side rooms. Um, you, you'll find a lot of introverts in much smaller settings having a great time. And they're all one-on-one -on -one or, or three-person conversations. And everybody's talking and contributing. Right. There's, there's, there's a lot of value that you get out of listening, too. I'm not going to put that down. There's, there's no chance. But uh, particularly for the... In the, in the right setting, you're going to get you're going to get people talking about all sorts of things. And since you've interviewed, what, a dozen statisticians now at length, I think that you can <laughs> you can kind of speak to that. <laughs> yeah, that is not so much a problem. sometimes. Yeah.